Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're talking about bullet lipsticks. I've always said that I'm not personally a fan of bullet lipsticks, and if I'm going for a lipstick, I prefer a liquid one that is comfortable so that it doesn't move or do anything throughout the day. But I can't deny that there is a certain elegance and fanciness that I feel when I do put on a bullet lipstick. It just isn't going to last as well. It's going to transfer, you know, the works. It is. It might be a bit more moisturizing, but it's going to be a bit more work throughout your day. Uh, two things led me to this video. The first was the launch of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and her disastrous lipsticks. I watched uh, that Shea Girl, that girl Shay XO, I think <laughs> I messed that up. I watched her video on the lipsticks and it really got me thinking and I did a whole video right before this, I'll throw it up in the cards, about my reflection on toxic people and toxic brands and the, all of that. But ultimately what really got me to do like this video was today I did this look and I really wanted to go for a nude lipstick and I knew that there was one bullet one that I really liked so I was putting it on and I thought oh let me do a video of bullet lipstick alternatives from someone who doesn't particularly like bullet lipstick. So in case you don't want to go for the whole Jaclyn Hill thing, in case you're just curious about bullet lipsticks, if you're not a huge fan like I am not, what bullet lipsticks might you want to start with? You know? Because I definitely, nine times out of ten, will pick a liquid lipstick over a bullet lipstick, but these are all lipsticks that I actually really, really enjoy and like and still use. I've got two affordable options and then I've got some higher end options, but all the higher end ones, they're minis <laughs> because I don't buy full size bullet lipsticks when I don't reach for them. So they're all minis. So I thought it would be fun to talk about those, swatch them, and uh, get you to buy those instead of Jacqueline's. So let's jump in first with the lipstick that I have on today, and this is actually from e.l.f. This is e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is from their Beautifully Bare line, and this is just called Touch of Nude. So I actually, okay, first let's look at this packaging. It's actually very cute, and you open it up, and it's kind of basically my perfect nude shade. You get a nice amount of uh, product down here. I believe I bought this back when they still had in-person stores. Uh, there was actually a nude lipstick that I loved from them, another bullet lipstick that came in the black packaging and it was like my perfect nude. I loved it. I used it and then I think it broke and I threw it out and I could not find it again. I think they discontinued it. Um, so this is the closest thing that I found from their line. So let me just swatch it real quick on my hand. There it is. It's super moisturizing. It just feels like I'm wearing a chapstick and it's just a great nude. It's really affordable and it's, it's not as great as I remember the other lipstick being, but that could just be like my uh, memory fooling me. This is still a great nude lipstick and they have this, they have quite a few shades. I don't know exactly how many, but this was under $5 and I reach for it and I still enjoy it. Next, I have some bullet lipsticks from ColourPop. I bought like back when these first came out, I bought like eight or 10 of them and I rarely reach for them. But when I reach for the nudes in particular, I remember them being just so comfortable and nice. Uh, so this is the nude lipstick in the shade Boy. Let's watch that right here. It's more of a warm toned kind of nude. Again, it is very moisturizing on the lips. And then the other nude one that works for my skin tone, they have they have a bajillion shades at this point. You can find a nude for every skin tone of them. Uh, this is this shade Uno Mas. And this is another great, this is a bit of a deeper kind of nude. Yeah, like a terracotta nude. And both of these, they're actually really good. I just rarely reach for the bullet lipsticks, but when I wear these, they do transfer. You could possibly get them on your teeth. You'd, you gotta like babysit a bullet lipstick, but there are definitely occasions for it, you know? They feel nice. They look really nice. I love the shades. I just need to push myself to reach for them a bit more often because I've got, I have to be like in a certain mood and I need a, in a certain state of mind for a, bullet, for a bullet lipstick, but these both work really well. The only issues I've had with bullet lipsticks from ColourPop were, I believe, like they're really, really dark shades, like the black. The black wasn't the best. That's hard to do in a bullet lipstick formula, to be honest, but all of their lighter shades, all their nudes, the reds are also really good. I could do a red lipstick video too, if you want me to, but they're, they're really great and they're affordable. They're a couple of bucks each. 
can't beat it. All right, next we're getting into the more expensive lipsticks, but they're all minis and they're all kind of adorable. The first one I want to talk about is from Fenty Beauty. So this is the, I forgot what these were called, the Matte Moselle lipsticks. And I have the Sade, Sade. I have the shade Griselda in a mini. So this is like a deep, this isn't really a nude lipstick, uh, but it's a deep, deep purple and it's just so pretty. It looks gorgeous on. Uh, it's really pigmented. It's very comfortable. I do, I mean, of course, it's a bullet lipstick. There's transfer. It's not going to stay all day. You're going to have to reapply it, but it's comfortable and it's gorgeous. There are some trade-offs of this. Uh, the mini is great. I also have one full size. Oh, I'm gonna need a, a lipstick or a lipstick. I'm gonna need a makeup wipe for this. But I do have a full size of this formula, but in the green shade, I think it's called Wasabi, the green lipstick. I obviously don't reach for that as often as well, but it's comfortable and it's pigmented and it just looks awesome on. I don't notice staining with Criselda when I wear it on my lips, but when you're swatching on your hand, it's probably gonna be a bit different, so. The rest I've been able to wipe off. This one I just used a makeup wipe and it's off. Next, I'm going to talk about a favorite from Marc Jacobs. Again, a little mini, and this is their Lip Creme, Lamarck Lip Creme in the shade Cream and Sugar. So I bought this in a mini kit with a lip liner and a lip gloss, and it's just like a nice little nude shade. This is so comfortable, and I love the shade. It's a little bit deep for me, but it's perfect, especially when you pair it with the lip liner and the lip gloss that they give you in this kit. It's great. It's super comfortable. It looks great throughout the day. You do have to retouch it, of course. It looks great for, what I'm trying to say is that this this uh, wears off gracefully. It's not going to look nuts, maybe like Griselda would look from Fenty, but this wears off gracefully throughout a day, which is more than you can ask for, especially when like you're working and you don't want to look nuts when your lipstick wears away, especially after lunch, you know? This wears off gracefully. It's comfortable. It keeps my lips looking nice. Uh, the only downside is that this is pretty expensive in the full size. I've had the mini for a while and I still have this much left. I'm not going to go through a whole mini. So that's my recommendation when it comes to these expensive lipsticks. Buy the mini kits. Get them when they're point per set Sephora because they do have some of the mini ones because they'll last you a decent amount of time, you'll get the great wear out of them, and you'll still enjoy them. You don't need to spend, I think this one is 30. The next lipstick I'm talking about is hella expensive. It's like $50 a tube, which I still have a mini of, but you don't have to spend too much to get a great quality bullet lipstick. All right, and last but not least is a total like guilty pleasure of mine that I found out because I got a mini, I'm, I, pretty sure this was a point perk from Sephora. This is from Tom Ford and this is the lip color rouge in the shade Indian Rose and not only do I love the packaging because even in a mini this is fabulous packaging. The shade itself it's actually about halfway gone because I loved this shade. This is a beautiful rosy shade. It's the one of the most comfortable lipsticks I've ever worn and I would rate this up among bull, or like liquid lipsticks too. Comfortable. It feels great. I feel moisturized and this also wears off gracefully. I don't look nuts like a clear like butthole lip around this. It, it just looks so nice and it's a beautiful color and it's just... Oh. I'd say the only downside with this is that it is uh, expensive. <laughs> like I said, I think this is $54 a tube, but you get a lot of use out of this mini. So just keep an eye out for like mini sets, for like mini point perks if you can find them, because I actually had to like put this away and stop using it because I was using it so often <laughs> that I don't want to run out of it because I don't want to have to buy one. <laughs> All right, guys, so those are all of the bullet lipsticks that I like that I would recommend you pick up instead of whatever other new releases may be happening. Let me know down below if you like bullet lipsticks, if you agree with these, if you have any other good bullet lipstick recommendations, and if you actually went and picked up the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, let me know how your exper experience has been because I am curious, but also still pretty heated about how that's all unfolding. Thank you guys for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.